Week two, week two, week two, week two, week two. Whether you're on vacation, whether you're at the crib, whether you are at your grandma's house, whether you are not even at home yet, whether you are working out, I don't know what you're doing, but I hope that you're active and getting some sun and having a great summer thus far. Um, remember last week we talked about uh, what it means to be in a civil war, that we are in a battle between the evil things and the wicked places that we cannot see. But today, I want to talk about something else specific, right? It comes from Hebrews chapter 12, uh, verses 1 and 2. It says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run the race with perseverance that is marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. One of my favorite movies, and you may have heard me say this before, I talk about it all the time, is called The Wiz. The Wiz, yes, The Wiz, The Wiz, Diana Ross, Michael Jackson, uh, a great picture and depiction of the Wizard of Oz that was made in the 1930s, but The Wiz came out uh, in the in the uh, in mid 1970s. It was a wonderful movie. If you haven't seen it, I, I, I challenge you to go watch it today. Yeah, today, today. Right after this, go watch it. Uh, but uh, they had amazing songs. Ama one of the best things about the movie was was the soundtrack. The soundtrack is awesome. I still listen to the soundtrack to this day. Um, but one of the songs in particular that I love, and it's probably one of the most popular songs, is the theme song and main song that played about five, six, seven, eight times throughout the movie. And it was uh, called Ease On Down The Road. Ease On Down The Road. Ease On Down The Road. It has a wonderful beat to it. And one of the things that they said was, Ease On Down The Road, don't you carry nothing. That's going to be a load. You just need to ease on down the road. Now, y'all know the story of the Wiz, the Wizard of Oz. If you don't, basically, it was a group of people that was trying to make it to the wizard, right? And they had to follow this yellow brick road, and they had to stay on this road. But there was a lot of obstacles that came their way in the midst of them following this road. And the song helped them to get over those obstacles. The song help them to keep on going. The song helped them to remind themselves of their destination and where they were headed. And I'm trying to tell y'all this morning, afternoon, night, whenever you're watching this, is that you need to learn how to ease on down the road. But here it is, to not carry things that are going to be a load, that are going to weigh you down, that are going to cause you to struggle and having a hard time pulling. You don't need to pull no extra weight, right? Life is already tough. Life is already hard. I know that you are at a young age, whatever age you are at, it, 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 it's already hard for you, right? You're exposed to a lot. You've seen a lot. You've gone through a lot. You almost, some of you may struggle with even being on this earth, and I understand that. But what this text is trying to suggest to us is saying the writer's here, and he's encouraging us to say, hey, check what you got on your bags, check what you got on your shoulders, check what you are carrying in your hands, check what's in your life that's causing you to be so heavy, right? That load may be something that you just keep indulging in on social media. Do you not realize how draining social media can be to you every day? What, 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 about, what, what about possibly trying to go a few days without it? See how you will feel. See, see how thriving you'll feel. See how alive you'll feel. It, it may be a friend that keeps trying to get you to do some tough things or bad things. And they're, they're causing unnecessary problems for you because you keep getting in trouble for them. You keep doing it because you feel pressure to do so. It may be something that you're, that you're watching that you're not supposed to watch. It's causing you to think about things that you can't even process yet. It's causing you to... To, to feel ways that, 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 that you're not really supposed to experience until you get in a certain age, or not even a certain age, until you get into a certain demographic of life, right? There are a lot of things that are causing us to be weighed down, but you need to just go ahead and cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off. Let it go. Drop it right where you are. Let it go. It has no rule over your life. It has no 
purpose in your life. It's not going to serve you well. It may be a person that you like, right, that y'all are in a relationship. Y'all y'all been going back and forth. It seems like things ain't working out. You stressed out. Think about what she doing. She, you, you, she stressed out. Think about what you doing. Y'all trying to connect, but you... Y'all, y'all not connecting, and it's causing you unnecessary stress at an age that you don't need that type of stress. Let it go. Lay aside that weight. Lay it aside, lay it aside, lay it aside. It is unnecessary for you to have. The Lord is saying to you today, hey, put that in my hands. You don't need to carry it. I'm trying to get you to some place. I'm trying to take you places. I'm trying to elevate you. I'm trying to allow you to move through this life. And God is saying to you, this summer, you need to learn how to cut some things off before you walk into this next school year. This summer, you need to analyze, look around your room, look around your your, 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 your search, look around your, your, your history on social media, look around in your mind and see what's there that's causing you to be weighed down. Some of you may have thought about a lot of things, but one of the, one of the uh, best things I can put it to help you picture it, uh, uh, I can illustrate it to you just like this. If you've ever been at an airport and, air, and you got on the airplane, you understand that they load baggage on the plane, that you go to the baggage part, that you put your bags on the plane, they, that you check them in, and they, 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 they will put the bags on your flight. Now, most of the time, um, mo- majority of the time, planes take off with a lot of baggage in their, in their flight. Some people have four suitcases, right, just for one person. Some people have uh, five items, depending on where that person is going. If you're like me, you, you travel light. Some people have a book bag and a little duffel bag, right? I don't like traveling a lot. I don't like traveling heavy with a lot of things. But uh, when I do travel, I try, to, I try to keep it light. I try to keep it light. I try to keep it light. But it was one particular flight I was on, and uh, the pilot said this to us. He said that, uh, we were about to take off. The plane was getting ready to go, but we couldn't leave because we had too much baggage underneath the plane. It was too much back. It, that 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 it must have been a, a mis- some some type of miscommunication between the people that work under there or whatever. They they must have calculated it wrong. Well, I don't know what happened. All I know is that we could not get off the ground because it was too much baggage in the plane. So what they had to do is that they had to unload some things. They had to take some things out. They, they had to take some bags out. They had to put some bags on the next flight that's going to the city that we were going to because we would not be able to fly correctly. It would not be safe for us to fly with too much weight on the plane. That's what God is telling you today. That's what God is telling you today. God is telling you, hey, I want you to fly. I want you to soar. I want you to see things. I want you to experience things. I want you to go to new destinations. I want you to meet new people. I want you to be on this stage. I want you to be a walk, walk, walk across this door that I've opened for you. But you're, you can't go because you got too much baggage. You keep trying to take everybody. You keep trying to take all these feelings. You're trying to take all these problems. You're trying to take all these thoughts. You're trying to take all these perspectives. You're trying to take everybody's opinions. And and you find yourself stuck on the runway because you don't want to unload. I know you're tied to it. I know it brings you comfort. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know you're used to it. I know you don't know what the next looks like. But you need to learn how what the text says to look to Jesus who is the author and the finisher of our faith. When you feel like you can't let go of something, just look to Jesus. When you feel like something is weighing you down and and, and you want to keep it around because you don't know how to operate without it, just look to Jesus. Jesus showed us what it meant to, to, to live a life in this race. But not only that, while you're looking to Jesus, give it to him. Just hand it over to him. Cast all your cares upon him, right? The Lord is saying, hey, give it to me. While you're running, I'll hold your, I'll hold your bags. I'll hold your, I'll hold your suitcase. I'll hold your book bag. I'll hold your phone. I'll hold your wallet. Just hand it to him. Jesus is asking and inviting us in a space where we can give him those things that weigh us down so that we can run this race a little bit smoother. That's all I got to tell y'all today is that, hey, man, look, look, let it go. Cut it off. Drop it. And run this race and watch how God begins to elevate you. Watch how God begins to open doors for you. Watch what God does for you 
because you decided to ease on down the road and that you ain't carrying nothing that's going to be a load. Hey, go watch The Wiz. If you ain't watched The Wiz, I'll see y'all next week.